what's up everyone it's Dave and we're back with our install video of the OEM roof racks or roof rails I guess I'll, is what I should call those not the roof racks but the roof rails for my 2017 Subaru Impreza Sport all right like I said in the unboxing video I would have preferred um, that they would have been the low profile ones but I don't have that so um, that option now well I do but I think it was like three or four hundred dollars more but anyway so um i'm gonna do a couple of uh setups here show you kind of kind of walk through the install of it um i'll try and not miss any steps but we'll take a um take a shot at it and see what we can do all right so one sec all right so the first thing we make sure we have all of our stuff there are four of these uh t-handle bolts our instruction manual our two crossbars and our torx um head screw there uh, screwdriver all right um, so the first thing that tells us that we're going to do we'll just go ahead and flip to that and I'll put my my knife there in the way all right so we've got these things right here on the side and we're going to push in on them which pops them open actually it just pops it out um, and then there's a, 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 a screw in there so then we'll remove that and I'm gonna put it on stand one sec all right, so here we go, and I'm supposed to unscrew this. And take this all the way out, and then that's going to allow us to remove this cover. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, to all of them, just while I've got them here. And you don't have to take the cover off like I did on the other one all the way, or this plastic piece here. But so, um, here we go. There we go. There's that one. Make sure you're just supposed to sit down in that. Alright. I'm going to just flip around here to the other side. I'm going to do the other ones. Nothing fancy, right? I've seen some other videos that people have done um, talking about these, but they haven't I haven't found an install in one of it. So um, hopefully this will help some of you who are considering to purchase these. Um, I see them everywhere on a lot of different uh, Subarus around town. Um, so they're definitely the, the least expensive route to go, um, and they still do the job. They just don't look as clean, in my opinion, um, as the ones that are just a little bit more flush, like you see on the cross tracks and stuff. You know which ones I'm talking about. All right, so um, that's done. The next stuff that we have, uh, we've removed them. So now the next step that we have is these covers that are on top of the car. So let me pause and get up to those. All right, so what we're looking at is this here. Um, and I'm going to use my knife just because that's all I've got out here. But what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to pry these up um, towards um, the, the edge of the car. All right, so just like that. So we have four of them. So I'm going to go do ahead and do all four of those, and I'll be right back. All right. And just to clarify, when I said that there's four of them, there's two on each side. One at the, each of your doors. All right, the center of them, pretty much. All right, so um, the next step that it tells us is to basically we're going to set these bars on top. So uh, we'll do the back one first, and I'll, I'll flip the camera so that hopefully we can see that. Um, they are labeled. It says uh, yep, left hand and right hand. So, yeah, all right, cool. So they are labeled left hand and right hand. And... Um, one says front. Let's see if I've got one that says front on it. Front, yep, front left hand and front right hand. So um, it's got to be like that. And then let me look at the other one real fast and see if it says. 
Alright, so it just says um, right hand and, and rear, rear right hand. Okay, so this one will be the first one that goes on, the one that says um, front and then left hand and right hand. Now, um, so we'll grab the one for the back since we're going to do that first. Now, the only thing I'm curious about is see if they specify what they're calling the left hand and right hand on here. Uh, all right, left hand, uh, front left hand is the uh, driver's side. All right, so we're going to do rear left hand, right? So we're going to do now. So we're just going to set this here. Get this like this. Here we go. So we're just going to eyeball set it on here um, for now, like this. And then I'm going to spin this around because I want to do the front one um, next. Actually, I want to do the front one first, so sorry for my camera. It's a little wobbly for some reason today. There we go. All right, so front left hand. All right, so it's going to be like this. And we're just going to set it down in here uh, somewhere like this. I'm not sure what's next, but anyway, so I have just eyeballed it and set it on there. All right, uh, the T bolt is next, so we'll make sure that it, the T bolt goes in and that it's flush this way whenever we do it. All right, let's see. Anyway, so it just seems like let me see if there's let me get an eyeball in there what I'm looking at. All right, so there's two holes um, for the front of the vehicle, and it says to screw it into the front one. All right, so anyways, so let me grab one of these T-bolts. I don't really know how that's supposed to work like that, though. I mean, it sits in there, but yeah, I guess that's right. All right, so, all right, let's see if I can get this around here. Sorry. All right, I'm going to come at it like this. All right, that should, if it stays. All right, so this is where the T-bolt is going through, right? And then they said to put it in there's two holes in here, the front one and the back one, so we're going to line it up with the front one. And, well, did we get it already? No, definitely not. All right, so try and line it up here. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get this like that. This plastic cap falls out. I know you guys are probably bored, but, you know, if I don't show you, how will you know how to do it, right? Actually, I think I found it there. And it's going in. And let's see if there's any specification. It just says, uh, once I get it in there, then I can use the, the torque wrench. So, um, this is supposed to be straight. So make sure that this lines up like this, right? And then we're gonna grab the torque wrench. And we're just gonna go in here and and this squeeze it down some more which that's not gonna let's back it up a little bit there we go because it says to make sure this is flat uh, this direction for the picture so make sure this is not sticking out and I think that's what helps you know that you have torqued it down enough to where if this is laying crossways like this and not in because if you torque it too far maybe that's what that is so all right so that's the first one and then uh, what it says to do next is to take your cover. Alright. 
so we've got our cover. We're going to put this back on here like this. And then we'll just screw that thing down in there like that. Snap the cover back on. All right, so um, that's how you do one. Let's go ahead, if you want to watch, we'll do the other side and maybe we'll speed it up from this point. All right, so we're back over here on this side. I guess we could have done the back one while we the rope there, but that's okay. One nice thing is that, you know, with going with this type of a setup is I don't have to um, buy the crossbars. I already have them. It took a little bit longer to do this, obviously, because it's, but I wanted to make sure I did it right. Snap that back on there. There we go. Solid. Double check for the back ones that it doesn't say to do anything different um, for those. I think they still say to just have them on the um, that front hole inside there, you know, toward the front of the vehicle. So it's the same for both. So there we go. Up here. So again, we're just going to turn this till it gets nice and snug, and it's facing um, flush. One thing that I'm kind of curious about is the way that this the plastic doesn't go together exceptionally well. Um, so I'm kind of curious about rain and such, but I guess it would just drain right out and go down the trails there. Let's do the last one over here. All of you all for watching. I have no idea how much that helps my channel. And hopefully, it's helping you learn how to do something new for your car that you didn't know before. I'll do a, a review on them later, but just overall impression of them right away is just that um, the rubber molding around it would be a little bit better. And the plastic could join together a little bit nicer.
All right, so that's that. They are installed. Here again, 2017 Subaru Impreza. And here we go. All right, so this is them. So from the front of the car, all right. So here's close up. So fits fairly decent around here. Um, doesn't move at all. Thing is solid, so that's that on that one here so and then the back one so those are on in there so this is kind of what I was talking about there's just a the rubber is a little bit rough right there uh, it could got a little bump right there I could seat down in there a little bit better than it does but um, there you can nowhere all right in the back of the car and then I am on a slight slope but Appears to be fairly level if you actually take the slope out of it. All right, this is the disciple. So, Luke fourteen twenty seven. If you're curious. All right, there we go. Here again, Subaru logos. These are OEM parts, as I said in the unboxing. All right, well, that's going to conclude the video for the install. Uh, super easy. Uh, just once I got the parts together and figured out exactly how it was going to go on, it's super easy. So if I had to take them off and put them on again, it would probably take me all of maybe 10 minutes tops. So, all right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, put them down below. As always, there'll be a link down below to these products and where I bought them. All right. Thanks so much for watching. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this He's right there to guide you, unseen you're not a